กัดมหาชนนะคะก็พร้อมที่จะนําเสนอข้อมูลให้กับทุกท่านได้รับฟังนะคะวันนี้นะคะเราได้รับเกียรติจากทีมผู้บริหารที่มาให้ข้อมูลนะคะก็ประกอบไปด้วย3ท่านค่ะท่านแรกขอเสียงปรบมือให้กับคุณเสริมศักดิ์ขวัญพ่วงค่ะท่านเป็นประธานเจ้าหน้าที่บริหารสายงานนักลงทุนนะคะท่านที่สองค่ะคุณมันธนาเอื้อกิจขจรค่ะท่านเป็นประธานเจ้าหน้าที่บริหารสายงานการเงินนะคะและท่านสุดท้ายค่ะดรจอห์นมิลล่าค่ะท่านเป็นผู้ช่วยกรรมการผู้จัดการใหญ่สายงานนักลงทุนสัมพันธ์นะคะและทั้งสามท่านทีมผู้บริหารของเราน่าจะพร้อมที่จะนําเสนอข้อมูลแล้วดิฉันขอมอบหน้าที่นี้ให้กับท่านค่ะเรียนเชิญค่ะขอบคุณครับสวัสดีท่านนักลงทุนทุกท่านนะครับครั้งนี้เป็นครั้งแรกนะครับเพราะว่าเราเพิ่งเข้าตลาดเมื่อวันที่7จ็ดธันวานะครับก็จัดว่าเป็นหุ้นน้องใหม่นะครับครั้งนี้เป็นครั้งแรกที่เรามีโอกาสได้เข้ามานําเสนอข้อมูลนะครับที่ตลาดหลักทรัพย์นะฮะแล้วก็วิดีโอที่ผ่านไปเนี่ยที่ท,ที่ได้นําเสนอผ่านไปเนี่ยเป็นเป็นวิดีโอที่แสดงให้เห็นถึงวิธีคิดจิตวิญญาณของบริษัทอนันตนาดีเวลลอปเมนต์นะครับเพราะฉะนั้นจะเห็นว่าแนวทางในการคิดวิธีการพัฒนานะครับแล้วก็วิธีการที่เราทําธุรกิจมานะครับอย่างไรก็ตามเนี่ยเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวทางผมสามคนก็จะถือโอกาสนี้เนี่ยนำเสนอในในในรายละเอียดต่อไปนะครับผมมีเตรียมข้อมูลมาค่อนข้างเยอะนะครับอาจจะใช้เวลาสักนิดหนึ่งนะครับแล้วก็มีเรื่องของแนะนำบริษัทนะครับแล้วก็เรื่องของกลยุทธ์แล้วก็แผนธุรกิจในปีในในในปีนี้นะครับสองศูนย์หนึ่งสามรวมรวมถึงข้อมูลที่จะแนะนำถึงผลการประกอบการปีสองศูนย์หนึ่งสามนะครับเบื้องต้นบอกในในในในสองหัวข้อแรกเนี่ยนะครับต้องขออนุญาตที่จะให้ดรจอนนะฮะช่วยนําเสนอนะครับอขออนุญาตเป็นภาษาอังกฤษนะครับจอห์น Thank you Concerned Sack and thank you everybody for coming today uh, What I'm going to talk about is to give a brief overview of the history of Ananda and give you an idea of how we think strategically as a company So next Uh, this is the, the key management of Ananda. The most important person is Kunchanon Rankritia. He's the founder of the company and the, the visionary. Uh, he has the vision of what Ananda should be. Uh, he spent about 15 years in the United States going to school there. He went to Berkeley where he did his undergrad, went to LSE where he did his uh, MBA, and then came back to Thailand, and now he's been working in Thai real estate over 12 years. Uh, next slide. Uh, to give an overview of uh, Ananda development, as you saw from the video, Ananda develops condos near the, the mass transit stations. Uh, we say we call ourselves an urban living solutions company, and I'll talk a little bit more later about what that actually means. Uh, we have a, a few brands uh, that cover different sectors of the market, as you can see here. And Ananda is the market leader in mass transit condominiums in terms of number units. Uh, around the stations. Now, how we got to market leadership position? You can see here the company Ananda itself started in 1999, and it did housing developments like like a lot of other mid-range developers. Then, in 2006, the company partnered with Prudential out of America uh, through their private equity fund. And Prudential provided capital, and Ananda provided the local expertise and did. Did all the development, and that's when the IDEO brand was launched with the concept of uh, mass transit living condominiums around this the new mass transit system in Bangkok, and targeted at what are usually the early adopters for any new lifestyle, the young, well-educated, what we call Generation C. And as you can see from the chart, in the first year, the company launched eight condos. Then we got into 2008, and the global financial crisis came along, and this affected Prudential's ability to provide capital. So the, you can see the launches slowed down, and Ananda was locked into an exclusive relationship with Prudential. The company wasn't allowed to continue with the IDEO concept on its own. So the company uh, did a leveraged buyout and bought out Prudential from the, the IDEO portfolio. 
Then we got support from the banks, and in February 2012, we launched another four condo projects, which are the Mobis that you see are in the light blue. So that's the history of the development of the, the IDEO brand. Now, our mission is to become the leading property developer in urban lifestyle condominiums, what we call urban living solutions. And this is based around the idea that the mass transit system is going to be the, the biggest single change in Bangkok real estate in a long, long time. We took a, a top-level view that originally the... Bangkok developed around the canal system, then it redeveloped itself around the road system, and now it's going to redevelop itself again around the mass transit system as the mass transit system builds out. Okay. So the, the four pillars of our brand is, when you see location, everything we do is close to the mass transit system. Uh, I make a joke... Uh, sometimes when I'm doing group lunches and things, that there are three things that, that drive our strategy. Mass transit, mass transit, and mass transit. Everything we do is related to being around the, the mass transit stations, what we call connected living. Okay. Uh, the other thing is uh, we're introducing a true urban lifestyle. So we add other services uh, along in with our buildings that are part of what we call the, the connected living. We also believe in modern design, and our buildings, I think, are well designed and uh, well regarded. And we also offer other complementary services, one of which is the Ananda Members Club, which if you buy a condo, you become a member. And we run something that's like, a, like an airline points program, where if you refer someone and they buy one of our condos, you get points which you can redeem for prizes. Interesting thing about the Amanda's Members Club is even though it only costs us 0.3% of project value as a budget, last year it generated one in three sales. So people who buy IDEO really love to refer to their friends so that their friends will buy IDEO as well. Another thing we have is a company called The Works, and this is a property management company that we have to manage the condos after uh, we've transferred them. They've been built and they've been transferred. And this is important to us because of our locations next to the mass transit systems, uh, next to the mass transit stations. And of course the mass transit system itself follows the busiest roads. We have more than a million people every single day go past our buildings. So it's very important for our brand that the buildings are well maintained. And then uh, another company we have is called The Agent. And the agent specializes in condos around mass transit stations. Not just our condos, but everybody's condos. So we want full market intelligence on everything that's happening around the, the mass transit system. Now you'll see here that uh, we identify our customer group as something called Gen C. And Gen C, which is young, educated, connected, and likely to be on Facebook. And that's reflected that we're the number one brand on Facebook by likes. Let's talk a little bit more about this, uh, this Gen C. Uh, they're young. They're educated. Uh, they want to use their cash in a smart way. They want convenience. Uh, they have a casual lifestyle and they're creative thinkers. Uh, we identify Gen C as, as our customer group because... Any, anything new comes along, you have an early adopter group. And the early adopter group tends to be younger, um, better educated. And in fact, if we look at the demographics of our customers, you can see 90% either have a bachelor degree or are studying for a bachelor degree. And you'll see 57% are single, so they're young. Okay. Another thing is that the household income of our group is quite high. See, 54% of the household incomes between 70 and 150,000 baht. So our group is white collar. It's uh, students who come from well-off families, or it's people in uh, professional jobs. Uh, but they're young, so it's, it's still their, their early jobs. Now, the company's business model. Because we had such a long history with uh, Prudential, then the, the company's history is to think in terms of uh, how private equity thinks. And that is to think in terms of IRR, how good and how quick 